Hi, my name is Justice, and welcome to this quick start guide for Rebel 4. This guide is for those of you who are experienced with drawing programs. If you're not, go ahead and skip this and start with our first tutorial. All right, we're going to click Cancel here because Rebel will have a canvas already populated for us. So the first thing that I wanted to be able to do was to use the watercolor brush. Let's go ahead and go up here to the Tools panel that's here on the top left, and the watercolor brush is the third one in. We have the Properties panel. And you, here you can adjust the size of the brush, the opacity, and the amount of water on the brush. Sometimes you want to use dry media, so that's where you would adjust that right there. All right, so here we go. Let's put a couple different colors here. Let's add a few more colors. I really love watching these colors blend and move around the screen. Now this is all controlled by tilt. So tilt is this right over here in the top corner. If you click on the circle in the center, that's going to turn tilt off. Now you'll notice as soon as I do that, the water is going to stop moving based off of gravity. In the corner of this panel, you can also choose to use the accelerometer on your device or to center the accelerometer so that your tilt is seen as flat. Uh, we're going to turn off the accelerometer here and we're going to manually adjust which way the tilt goes. So we're going to click to turn it on, click the center, and we can change here the amount. So if that little blue line is really long or really short, that's going to affect a little bit of tilt and or a lot of tilt, and it'll move fast or slow. And you can see it's moving around the screen. Now, if we want to freeze all of this, then we can press the fast drive button right here or the keyboard shortcut F. All right, so that's all stopped moving. In order to see the water on the screen, you can click here the show wet icon uh, or press the keyboard shortcut H. And if we want to dry, add, or blow the water across the screen, then we have these three little icons right here. So let's go ahead and click on the add water one. And let's hide this. Actually, we'll show. And let's add water right here. You're going to see let's increase the brush size. Uh, brush size you can adjust with control. Okay, so you can see the water moving across the screen. Ah, so beautiful. I love that. And okay, we're going to go ahead and dry. So let's select the dry tool. And now you can see I'm removing the water from these specific areas to dry it. All right, let's go ahead and remove the show wet. So we've gone through the add water, the dry tool, and the blow tool. So watercolor brushes have transparency modes. So we're going to use a red, and I'm going to go right over the top here. We're going to change the transparency mode to semi-opaque, and then all the way to opaque. You can see the way that this affects the underlying color is different for each of these. Now, I really like, really, really like these different blending modes that are inside of Rebel 4. So here you have paint. This is going to do just color. Here's paint and mix. We have a little bit of mixing going on. We have paint and blend. I like this one most. Really light pressure is going to blend the existing colors, and then heavy pressure is going to uh, add color. Just blend is just gonna move around colors that are already on the screen. And then our last one is erase. And this erases with the brush that you already have selected. This is how all drawing programs should behave. I love this feature. All right, so the keyboard shortcuts for those are one, two, three, four, and five. Really easy to switch between those while you're drawing, and they can toggle on and off. You can do press to hold, and they'll, they'll stay on while you're holding the button and turn off when you release it. So really fast. All right, so let's say I want to freeze everything on the screen, all the movement. So I'm going to go over here to this button right here. The keyboard shortcut is F for fast dry, and that's going to stop all the movement of the water and the paint on the screen. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to oils. Oil brushes are new inside of Rebel 4. This is one all the way to the top left. Let's go ahead and select this. 
uh, we have Dirty Brush, and we have the same blending modes here available for the watercolor brush. The keyboard shortcut to dynamically resizing the brush opacity or loading is Control. Sliding left and right will increase the size up and down will increase the opacity or the loading. So now I'm going to try and add some color. You notice nothing appears here because my mixing mode is set to number five, erase. So let's go over here and we're going to choose number three, paint and blend. I'm going to undo this and let's add some more color. Let's sample some colors with Alt. And I can blend with light pressure and paint with heavy pressure. Uh, let's bring the size down. That's a little extreme. Now, if I want to increase or decrease the impasto of the paint, I can go up here to Window and choose Visual Settings. Alternately, you can find that down here on the bottom right. There's a little settings icon. You can adjust a couple different things here. If I want to create drips or not create drips with the watercolor, if I want to increase the impasto depth, you can see here that's gotten thicker everywhere and thinner everywhere. And if I want to adjust the gloss, I can adjust that here as well. All the paint on the canvas is affected by the canvas texture. So you can adjust canvas texture here to heavier or lighter. Uh, same thing with paint texture to heavier or lighter. All right, the last part of this tutorial is the dirty brush setting. So where we had transparency settings in the watercolor brushes, we have a dirty brush setting. So right here, we can turn this off. With it off, we're going to get just a really flat color. So orange is going to be orange, red is going to be red, pink is going to be pink. Uh, if we turn that on right over here, so you can see there's a little bit of this green Let's switch this over here. You can see that that brush is now, so the brush is dirty. We like dirty. Dirty brushes are great. That's my preference. Never turn them off. Your painting will look boring. Okay, and just for fun, uh, I like using mixed media here. So we're going to go back to the watercolor and let's just add some colors here on top. You can see that the texture of the paint, the oil paint actually affects where the paint goes. And let's move this around. Isn't that beautiful? Let's go to the blow tool. And fast dry F. So now we froze that. That's pretty awesome. I think that's everything that I wanted to know right when I first started using Rebel 4. Uh, all the windows for all the settings are right up here. You just click here and you can find all those there as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you have more questions, put it in the comment section. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.